You know, I, uh, I was sitting over there listening, and I was just looking right here, and here's that word that I couldn't find a while ago. And this is what the Lord had said. He said, to the self-appointed regulators of the Lord's prophets. Now think about that. To the self-appointed regulators of the Lord's prophets. Those who self-appointed themselves to regulate prophets got mad, first of all, because people, you know, we in the South say mad, it's angry, you know, maybe. They got upset, got angry, got mad. I still say that sounds right. The, to regulate prophets got mad, first of all, because people believed in these again. They got mad, first of all, because people believed in them again. So now they can't just come out and say they don't exist because of the fear of the people. So they seek to regulate them, and they regulate them according to their doctrine. And that's what the Lord said. So even those can, you seriously could repent. And um, nobody could have done worse than Paul. And he repented. <clears throat> so anyway, it's been a good time on the 11th hour, has it not? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man, a lot came out today. We gave a lot out today. I can sense it now that the anointing's kind of lifting. I can sense it in me, man. I, we gave out today. <clears throat> now, I want you to, to remember this. If you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, this is the day of salvation. Today is the day of salvation. Just simply pray this. Lord Jesus, I believe in my heart that God raised you from the dead. And I confess with my mouth that you are my Lord and personal Savior. Forgive me of my sin. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. From this day forward, you are my Lord. Hallelujah. Now, and if somebody asks you are, you, are you a Christian, say, yes. Yes, I am. Yes, I belong to Jesus. I belong to the Christ. Amen. Now, <clears throat> you don't need to stop there. Once you're born again, you need to be baptized in the Holy Ghost so that the power can come up on you for service. So you simply say this, Lord Jesus, I believe. I can be baptized in the Holy Ghost. Baptize me now, Lord, in the mighty Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in other tongues as the Spirit tells me what to say. I thank you for it. I give you praise and honor for it. In Jesus' name, now I'm just going to thank you, Lord, for baptizing me. And then when you hear those sounds in you, just begin to let them out of your mouth. And just start flowing out in the spirit like that. And what you've done is you've shown the initial evidence, not the only evidence, but the initial evidence of being baptized in the mighty Holy Ghost. And that is yielding the most powerful member of your being, your tongue. Power of life and death is in the power of the tongue. And you've yielded that to God, and you're trusting Him for every syllable. And the book of Jude says that you build up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. What is most holy faith? Most holy faith is faith that gets the answer every time. Every time. So the more you pray in tongues, the more you get the answer. And the more faith comes holy faith hallelujah and you'll be praying mysteries hidden in god amen praise god well it's been a good 11th hour today as we said it's been a good time to be together here around god's word around the anointing remember the songs like krista said go back and listen to the words of prosperity that was given that was written standing here at the keyboard it was just written right here as that music started coming out. Go back and experience all that again. 
Tell somebody else to listen to it. Tell people, say, man, you've got to get in on all this and let them flow in the Holy Ghost. Young prophets. I remember young Henrik and the little baby Henrik that got healed staring at the screen. Two little children sent us a picture of them holding up their staffs. And they were prophets, young prophets of the Lord. What about um, who, uh, uh, what, uh, Micah, uh, what was his name, Elijah, Micah, and wh where was it, I'm, who I'm thinking of? Malachi. Malachi, is Malachi. He came to us in Pens uh, uh, Missouri and came up to us, a young prophet. How old was he, five, six, came up and said, I said, are you a prophet of the Lord? He said, no, but I want to be. And by the next day, and by the next day, and he called me across the parking lot. Remember, I was walking in the church. Remember, and he said, Robin D. Bullock. And, and, huh? Oh, he ran to me. Robin D. Bullock. And he said, I, uh, I'm your biggest fan. I said, no, uh, I am your biggest fan. And I started talking to him, ministering to him. And he came up the next night, and I said, are you a prophet of the Lord? He said, I am. He's a prophet. Yeah, I told him about that. It was two little girls sent pictures with their staff. God is raising up a generation of prophets. He's raising them up, you know, from, from just birth. I mean, in the womb, he's calling them. And they're coming forth. And they're going to be, uh, there's going to be an army of prophets before this is over. Hallelujah. I see some children will prophesy over the President of the United States. They'll begin to say things over him. Hallelujah. Well, God bless you. Thank you for tuning in today to the 11th hour. You're our partners. We love you so much. I'll be praying over you today. Know that wherever you go today, if it's night where you are, wherever you are, prayers are going out for you today. They'll go up to heaven. You're never without prayer if you're a partner with this ministry. Amen. Go to the website. Take advantage. Robin D. Bullock, take advantage of the products there. Let them bless you. If you became a believer today, you, you made Jesus your Lord, download the book, Jesus, Why It Is the Way It Is. Get that. It's free. Take advantage of those things. Get the book, God is Absolutely Good, and begin to reprogram your thinking with the absolute goodness of God. Amen. Until next time we gather together right here around God's Word, I want you to remember, never forget that God is absolutely good.